Problem number seven. It says which figure appears to have exactly two lines of symmetry. So we want to draw a line through it so that it, the one side flips over onto the other. When I'm looking at this A, I can see there's one right here. That part would land over there if I flipped across that line. Um, I'm not seeing any others. There's no way I could draw it here because that would land over here. So A's out. Let's look at C. I see this guy's going to have one going right through the center like this. It looks like, and it looks like one right through there too. Or does it? That's a common mistake to make. It does not have one. It does have this one, but it doesn't have this one. We're always time, oh look, it splits nicely. No, because if you split it here, this end, whoop, lands way up there. It would do that. So this only has one line, so it's not C. That's a common mistake to make, thinking, oh, it splits it nicely. It doesn't. It's not going to make this end. When I flip it across that, that's coming up here. So it's not going to be C either. Let's come to B. Now, B looks pretty good to me because, look, it's going to have one right like this, and everything goes there, and that comes here nicely. And it has this one now. Now, this one will work because notice this and this are the same distance away. If I go from here, one, two, three, four to right there, one, two, three, four, they have the same height there. So they are going to land one another. That does have, in this case, two. Now let's rule out D. It has one, it appears vertically, perfectly vertically, but it doesn't have any going any sideways. You can't draw one here. It's not quite, if it were a perfect equilateral triangle, yes, but it's not. It's an isosceles. It's not going to work. So D's out. Choice B for problem number seven.